that's already been asked, so I'll just go on to my second question. That's concerning the, and this is for you, Mr. Seymour? Uh, Sweener. Professor Sweener, thank you. So the the we've heard a lot about the overrepresentation of indigenous and black people in prisons due to cannabis use and criminalization. And so one of the questions, does this mean that there is a, a higher prevalence of use um, in amongst those populations? And we could include the poor and other disadvantaged people as well. And if yes, how might uh, the public health approach address or redress this? Sure. Uh, there, there's various books I'd, I'd really recommend on this. Uh, uh, Hari's uh, Chasing the Scream, uh, uh, but uh, many others, and I'd, I'd be pleased to follow up with anybody who's interested. In many cases, what we find is that there is not a difference in the use of drugs uh, w within uh, uh, different communities. Um, what you have in the United States is a very good example of this. If you're black or Hispanic, you're much more likely to go to jail for using those drugs. Uh, I've visited people in, in US prisons and uh, it is just recognized that this is just a, a racist approach. That's one of the concerns I have when you have discretion to say, there are things that you or I might do that a policeman would just laugh and say, go on. But, but what if you're uh, racialized? What if you are seen as having an attitude? What if the police have reason to not like you for some reason? That's why I don't like the criminal law approach of saying, so if we each buy 25 grams and I say, can you carry mine to the party for me? I want to stop at the hardware store. Does a police officer say, ha, 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 or does a police officer say, I'm going to charge you and you go to jail for five years? Uh, if an 18-year-old passes a joint to a 17-year and 11-month-old at a high school party, might they be treated differently, depending on how the police see them? Uh, a public health approach is saying sometimes there are different rates of use, and there's reasons for that. People use drugs for various reasons, whether it's uh, entertainment. Uh, we seek to alter consciousness, whether that's jogging or looking at a sunset or sticking a needle in our arm. We, as a, as a species, we seek to alter consciousness. We do it for various reasons. Sometimes it's, it's mere entertainment. Sometimes it's seeking oblivion. There are different reasons different people use drugs. To treat that as a criminal law issue rather than a public health issue, I, I think is atrocious. And we are seeing huge additional health problems associated with that. To say, take someone who needs a drug, is using a drug, seeking oblivion because as Gabor Maté writes in The Realm of the Hungry Ghosts about uh, downtown Eastside Vancouver, IV drug users, by and large, are people who were abused as children. They're seeking oblivion. And then we throw them in jail and sorry, we further Professor, punish them. Uh, I'm sorry, we're running yeah. out of time here. <laughs> uh, 